Ann Chong. Woo! Give it up for Jeffrey Peterson. Let's keep it going for Sally. I just came here to sell us some pot. I hope you have that money. How are we doing, Comedy Store? Yeah, so I came out here from Vegas. Speaking of gambling, uh, who's voting? Yeah, anybody? <laughs> oh my God, shit's gonna get real, real soon, right? Depends on how you look at it, but it's it's close to the end of the world, guys. It, it could be Hurricane Hillary or Apocalypse Trump. You make this decision. Now, Hillary might be an okay president, and I'll tell you why. Because Bill Clinton's gonna make a great first lady. <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> now, I'm kind of leaning toward Trump, and I'll tell you why. Not for any political reasons, don't get upset. The reason why I think Trump would be a good president is because of the candidates running, he's the one guy I can do a solid impression of. <laughs> Everybody in this room can do a Donald Trump impression. Do you guys want to learn how to do a Donald Trump impression? Yeah. yeah! Okay, here's how we do it. In order to do a Donald Trump impression, you simply have to make your mouth a butthole. That's all you gotta do. Make your mouth a butthole when you talk. It's very simple. Look at this. I'm Donald Trump. It's very easy, you guys. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy I became the president. I'm so excited. I'm actually pissed off. You don't know the difference because my mouth's a butthole. You can't tell the difference. I'm your new president. President Butthole. <laughs> Vote for him, you guys. Write that in. President Butthole. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> so, yeah, I came out here from Las Vegas. Who's been to Las Vegas? You guys have been to Las Vegas, right? Oh, my God, what a crazy town. It gets hot as hell there. <laughs> it was so hot in Vegas last week, I paid a hooker to blow on me. It <laughs> 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 breeze, right? Oh, my God. I, I, weird shit happens there that never happened anywhere else, you guys right, when I'm living in Las Vegas. Could be two o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the afternoon, it really doesn't matter. There's a Mexican dude at my door ready to sell me a bootleg DVD. <laughs> How he knew I wanted Captain America right then, I don't know, because I did. But it's Vegas, so it's a gamble, right? I got that DVD of Pacific Rim. Put it in my DVD player, got all excited. Turned out to be Asian porn. <laughs> Let me tell you, those Asian dudes have little dicks. <laughs> and so do the chicks. Yes. <laughs> Paid five bucks. Pickup lines are crazy in Vegas. Pickup lines. You've never heard a pickup line like this. I'm standing at a bus stop in the middle of the day. A 40-something tweaker chick stops and she makes eye contact with just me, of all the people. Looks me right in the eye and she says, Well, look at you with all your teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a Vegas, come on. <laughs> Met my girlfriend in Vegas, we, we just celebrated three years, I'm very excited, thank you. We just found out some great news, you guys, I'm, I'll share it with you. My girlfriend just became a grandmother. Yeah, which is great news for me because it makes me a grandmother fucker. Yeah. Relationships are tough, relationships are tough. Are you, are people in relationships here? Cheating on your wife? <laughs> Hookers? No. Um, relationships are tough. You know what messes me up is the phone. The, the cell phone is what messes me up. First of all, spell check can suck my duck. <laughs> Secondly, it's autocorrect that messes me up. Just the other day, I'm in an argument with my girlfriend, feverishly trying to save our relationship, right, through a text, just doing whatever I can. Autocorrect swoops in, screws me up. I chose the word baby, it chose bitch. That's not my fault. That is not my fault. Yeah. Um, you know what's weird is, I, living with my girlfriend now after three years, found some weird sleeping habits. She, she does some weird shit in the middle of the night. I mean, she's putting clothes in the oven and shit, and I'm like, what is going on? Did a little research, found out she was sleepwalking. Yep, started reading up on it. And scientists say it's not safe to wake a sleepwalker. But they don't say anything about fucking them. <laughs> Come on, that's my only way to cheat, you guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was living in Denver, Colorado, the cannabis capital of the world. Give it up for that shit. Yeah, that's some crazy stuff, you guys. They made a billion dollars in cannabis sales last year. Yeah. And that was just to me. 
<laughs> I'm broke, but I'm very stoned. Everybody's high in Colorado. Let me tell you what you're in for here. Everybody's high. Driving through the mountains, I saw a sign on the side of the road that said, High Deer Area. <laughs> yeah, everybody's high. <laughs> Including you guys, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, the funny thing is, uh, now, look at California's about to vote for legalization for recreational purposes of marijuana. What do you guys think of that? Pretty cool, right? Oh. That would be great. Cool. The beach just got better, right? And uh, the thing is, though, with, uh, with what's going on there, there's a whole generation of young people who've never scored marijuana from a dealer. Yeah. They don't know what we went through. They don't know what it's like to have to watch your dealer's baby. <laughs> Not like we did. So, you guys like impressions? Yeah. Uh, before I go, I'm going to do some quick impressions for you. Hollywood is running out of ideas, and proof of that is they make Lego movies. And they pay big stars, big money to star in these Lego movies. When they're done making the shitty ones, they're going to make the ultimate one. Legos, Expendables, starring Sylvester Stallone. Oh, uh, yo, I'm going to need you guys help on this one, right? Jason Statham. Look, I don't like fucking children, and I hate fucking Legos. I don't want to be in this movie. Gary Busey. Do you guys know that Lego means letting everything go on? <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Hey, I told you fuckers I was going to be in a Lego movie. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. What's that Lego doing on a horse? <laughs> Ice T. Yo, I hate motherfucking Lego. My kid stepped on those motherfucking ones. Left it on the floor. I stepped on that shit. Hurt my foot for a motherfucking week. Fuck you, Lego. <laughs> Motherfucker. Seth Rogen. Um, I don't know if you guys saw Green Hornet. I'm not an action guy. <laughs> Two. Gilbert Godfrey. It's not so bad that I have to be in a Lego movie, but a Sylvester Stallone movie, no. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. There's no fucking reason why I should be in a Lego movie. <laughs> and as the president of Legoland, Donald Trump. As your president of Legoland, my first order of business, my fellow Lego people. I'm going to go ahead and build a Lego wall around the country. I'm Jeffrey Peterson. Give it up for Sarah.